Okay, this is my Arduino-based uh, temperature controller. Uh, this will be used on a smoker to control the uh, temperature for smoking meat. However, this could be adapted for other purposes. Uh, right now, I am using a Arduino Pro Nano board uh, right here. That is connected to my breadboard. Um, I have two seven-segment displays. The top one is displaying a uh, read temperature function and the bottom one is displaying a set temperature function. I am reading the temperature using an Adafruit uh, Max 31855 uh, thermocouple amplifier right there and then that is outputting to a K-type thermocouple. Uh, the thermocouple will be used to read the uh, interior temperature of the smoker. It will display the temperature on the top bar, or on the, I'm sorry, the top display, and then the bottom display will be used for the Arduino set temperature function. Um, I am using two 74HC595 shift registers here and here if you can see it. Um, those two, the first one controls uh, the seven segments and the asterisk. The second shift register controls the digits. Um, output one is registered to digit one. Output two is registered to digit two. Digit three, digit four. Digit five, six, seven, and eight. Um, these are common cathode displays. Uh, so each anode of the eight segments I'm controlling, each anode is uh, being controlled by the 74HC595, which is then going through a uh, 2N2222 transistor, through 100 ohm resistors, then to the segment. Then from there, each segment goes to a common cathode and each cathode runs through a uh, ULN2803 transistor array and that is being used to sync the current for all eight cathodes. I am controlling the fan with, or I'm sorry, the fan here is controlled through a uh, MOSFET using the uh, PWM output of the Arduino on pin 9. Um, there's some circuitry there involved. I'm um, not going to run into it because it's a simple analog out PWM control. So I'll step through the functions here. I have three push buttons. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Okay, using my three push buttons. Sorry. The first one is here that is uh, going to be labeled up. The second one is here, just called down. And the third one right here will be a mode function. Um, the mode that I have programmed either automatic or manual. Right now it's in automatic mode using a uh, PID algorithm to control the fan output speed to try and attempt to match the read temperature with the set temperature. Now I can control the set temperature by pressing up or down, and I have a program to go in five degree increments. And using the mode function, I can set it between automatic and manual. Now the automatic mode, which it's in right now, it displays the set temperature. I can get this to focus here uh, using my cell phone camera so it's not uh, not a very good camera. I may upload a better video later. Um, right now we're in automatic mode, meaning the set temperature is controlling, or the PID algorithm is currently controlling the PWM output. If I change the mode to manual, the set temperature display goes away, and using the manual override a uh, 5k trimmer potentiometer. I can then control the fan output. Right now the fan is stopped. 
And as I increase the manual mode, or I'm sorry, increase it manually, this is done using the Arduino uh, analog read. I just have it uh, going into the analog zero. This can vary the temperature or vary the output between zero and 100% or zero and 255. So right now I have manual control over the fan. See there, I can turn it on and off. And the up and down buttons do virtually nothing in this mode. I'm going to kick over to automatic mode by giving the uh, mode switch a press. Let's see our display temperature comes, or our, sorry, our uh, read temperature stays on all the time. And the set temperature is displayed, at which time the PID algorithm takes over the fan control. Using the K-type thermocouple, I can just warm the thermocouple up with my hands. Up to 90 or so. And this can be used to go down a ways lower if you want to. Say it's 85. Current temperature is 88. The PID algorithm um, has control over it right now, showing that, hey, it's hotter than what it should be. And it's slowing the fan down gradually to a stop eventually. Well, now it won't because it's low. Um, anyway, this is my uh, Arduino-based smoker controller. And again, this could be adapted to many different um, uses, purposes, if you want to. Um, however, this is what I'm going to be using it on. I will post a video of how it works later on once I get it completely installed. However, I just wanted to give a quick preview of how it works. Well, not really how it works, but uh, what I've got, uh, what I have programmed, uh, some of the basic um, components that I've used. I'm not going to go into depth on wiring and code right now because um, it is a bit of a mess. I'm currently in the process of designing the circuit board to go on it. But I just want to give you a quick preview. Again, the code will be posted at some point. However, I just don't have the time to uh, really clean it up and make it presentable. I may post it if somebody's wanting to clean my code up and make it a little better. Um, but right now, it's just kind of a quick and dirty code to make it work. Uh, if I do post the code, I would uh, appreciate anybody that would clean it up or optimize it for me. I will, um, just a quick side note, using the uh, Adafruit library for the Max 31855 uh, breakout, um, I did have to modify the uh, library, um, eliminating the delay function in the library. Um, it was causing my display to flicker. And that has to do with how I'm using the displays, but any delay function in the code causes the um, displays, the uh, seven segment displays to turn off for the uh, delay duration, which caused a giant problem with my code. So I eliminated the delay function in the Adafruit library, and so far it seems to work. Um, I've tested it a lot. I've had it running for probably 30 hours. I suppose what? Well, Excuse me, while I've uh, been working on these circuit boards using fritzing, um, and so far I've had no errors and no problems with uh, eliminating the delay function in the Adfruit library. So that is a little side note if you are using that, and take a look at my code. Just keep in mind I did eliminate the delay function in the Adfruit library. And again, I will post code at some point, but I don't have time to get to it right away. Um, so thank you for watching, and if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know. If you have any questions, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.